Patterns by Amy Lowell Read for LibriVox.org by Brian Ness I walk down the garden paths, and all the daffodils are blowing and the bright blue squills. I walk down the patterned garden paths in my stiff brocaded gown. With my powdered hair and jeweled fan I too am a rare pattern as I wander down the garden paths. My dress is richly figured, and the train makes a pink and silver stain on the gravel and the thrift of the borders, just a plate of current fashion, tripping by in high-heeled ribboned shoes, not a softness anywhere about me, only a whalebone and a brocade. And I sink on a seat in the shade of a lime tree, for my passion wars against the stiff brocade, the daffodils and squills flutter in the breeze as they please and I weep, for the lime-tree is in blossom, and one small flower has dropped upon my bosom. And the splashing of water-drops in the marble fountain comes down the garden paths, the dripping never stops. Underneath my stiffened gown is the softness of a woman bathing in a marble basin, a basin in the midst of hedges grown so thick she cannot see her lover hiding, but she guesses he is near, and the sliding of the water seems the stroking of a dear hand upon her. What is summer in a fine brocaded gown? I should like to see it lying in a heap upon the ground, all the pink and silver crumpled up upon the ground. I would be the pink and silver as I ran along the paths, and he would stumble after, bewildered by my laughter. I should see the sun flashing from his sword-hilt, and the buckles on his shoes, I would choose to lead him in a maze along the patterned paths, a bright and laughing maze for my heavy-booted lover, till he caught me in the shade, and the buttons of his waistcoat bruised my body, as he clasped me, aching, melting, unafraid. With the shadows of the leaves, and the sun-drops, and the plopping of the water-drops all about us in the open afternoon, I am very like to swoon with the weight of this brocade, for the sun sifts through the shade. Underneath the fallen blossom in my bosom is a letter I have hid. It was brought to me this morning by a writer from the Duke. Madam, we regret to inform you that Lord Hartwell died in action Thursday, seen night. As I read it in the white morning sunlight, the letters squirmed like snakes. Any answer, madam? said the footman. No, I told him. See that the messenger takes some refreshment. No, no answer. And I walked into the garden, up and down the patterned paths, in my stiff, correct brocade. The blue and yellow flowers stood up proudly in the sun, each one. I stood upright, too, held rigid to the pattern, by the stiffness of my gown. Up and down I walked, up and down. In a month he would have been my husband, in a month here underneath this lime he would have broken the pattern, he for me and I for him, he as colonel, I as lady, on this shady seat. He had a whim that sunlight carried blessing, and I answered, It shall be as you have said, now he is dead. In summer and in winter I shall walk up and down the patterned garden paths in my stiff brocaded gown. The squills and the daffodils will give place to pillared roses, and to asters, and to snow. I shall go up and down, in my gown, gorgeously arrayed, boned and stayed, and the softness of my body will be guarded from embrace by each button, hook, and lace. For the man who should loose me is dead, fighting with the Duke in Flanders, in a pattern called a war. Christ, what are patterns for? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.